Connor, derby day tomorrow. Obviously a very quick turnaround from Wednesday's game. How's the preparations been? Yeah, as you said, um, we played a, little, a day later than normal on a Wednesday night, so just been trying to get the lads back and recovered, so, uh, ready for tomorrow. So, been a good, good couple of days, positive. The lads have been positive, so that's the main thing. Obviously, we're still in a great position, and um, we know that we've been here. So, yeah, a lot of positivity around the place, and it's uh, been a good couple of days. The lads feel, lads feel fresh going into tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. Obviously, the last couple of results not been the best, but Derby Day, perfect time to bounce back with another win. Yeah, I know the old cliche that there's no form not really matter going into a Derby game. Um, I think what's important to, to realise is when we obviously we watched the game back a couple of times ourselves on Wednesday night and I think for the first 60 minutes um, we dominate and don't really give up a chance apart from the obviously the penalty. So I think it's a key that the performance up to that point was brilliant. After that we got a little bit too too gung-ho and um, trying to trying to go and obviously recover the game which obviously comes from a good place from the lads but obviously we've got to stick to our game plan for the full 90 minutes obviously when you think back to filed Solihull which is what we've done and got us back into game so I think it's important to get back to that but I think for 60 minutes we were brilliant dominated the game so performance wise for the majority of it excellent so we'll just try to carry that on and take it into tomorrow and hopefully get three points. Obviously you mentioned there about focusing on the game plan derby games they can get quite emotional uh, tempers can flare how important is it just to focus on the game plan? I think that's natural. That always happens. Um, seems to be obviously a big part of derby. You see it at the top level, you see it at higher level. So I think that tends to last about 15, 20 minutes of all the adrenaline, and then the game t tends to settle down. So um, obviously, away from home is a tough place to go. They've um, a lot of teams have gone there and come unstuck. They're a good side, possession-based team. To be fair, they're, they're doing well. Um, as I said, it's not an easy place to go. So we know we know the task at hand. So we'll go there and we'll we'll implement our game plan and see how we go. Obviously, a lot of the lads here would have been here for the double over Wildstone last year. Have they ever spoken in the dressing room about Derby Day to the new lads this season? Uh, yeah, I think I think the lads that were here and a part of it, and obviously no more than others, um, they make sure the new lads are aware. I think that's clear to see within the within the last couple of days, and obviously the prep um, with today as well. So everyone knows this, and you don't need our players to tell the lads, and you can see it everywhere. The, the talk is always big Derby Day. You can, I think the countdown feels like it's been forever that that's been going out on social media to prepping for this game. So. You can see what it means to both fan bases and both clubs. So the, the lads know that they're fully aware of the situation. Obviously, it's only playing just two days ago with the game. Is there any update to team news? Anything for tomorrow? No, everyone came through fine. No issues, no fresh uh, injury concerns. So we'll run forward the group we've got. Um, obviously, yeah, the prep's been good the last couple of days. No issues. Connor, thank you for your time. Brilliant. Cheers.